Hi, I'm Severio from Honor Plugins and today I'm not gonna show you any new plugin but I'm gonna talk about the loudness that uh, you're gonna use and you're gonna aim for when you master for streaming services because uh, um, a lot of music is consumed right now using a various uh, kind of streaming services like YouTube or Apple Music or Spotify or anything like that. And those services uh, try to normalize the difference in volume between each track and they almost aim for the same value. That's for some services uh, negative 14 uh, LUFS, for other services is negative 16 LUFS. So if you aim to negative 15 when you master your track, you're gonna be safe with almost every service. Um, so what is important? Because if you uh, rip your track from CDs and you uh, are used to mastering for CDs uh, um, using the loudness standards we used some time ago, you're gonna be penalized by this normalization. And I'm gonna show you why, because I have uh, um, this uh, setup here where I've put in the same track into different uh, lanes of Reaper. And uh, it's uh, a, a track I did a lot of time ago. I don't even remember why, but uh, for this uh, comparison will be fine. And uh, in the first, I've uh, made a mastering like I used to do when I aimed for CD mastering, a very aggressive mastering, uh, aiming for um, negative 10 RMS here. And uh, this is uh, really loud for today's uh, streaming standards. So uh, I will um, compare and let you hear how it sounds when it's normalized to negative 15 at a UFS. It will sound very squashed and out of life because uh, I've uh, sucked out every kind of dynamics when I, norm when I lift the volume to reach my RMS target. So uh, let's listen how it sounds. So you clearly hear that is everything is very compressed. Uh, it's very out of life, and uh, it really doesn't sound good. But when I take the same track and I avoid squashing it that much, and just aim for the minus 15 at the UFS we were talking before, I just need a small gain adjustment here to reach that level it will sound much better. It's definitely punchier. And uh, now I'm gonna, I wanna show you the difference between the two tracks here. Uh, with our uh, ELM 128, our loudness uh, analyzer. It's referenced to negative 15, our target. And I'm gonna switch between the two tracks so you can hear the differences in real time.
as it's expected, uh, you can clearly hear that the snare and the kick and the overall drum section has gained a lot from uh, being mastered to uh, a lower level and uh, having more breath in, uh, in the range that the peaks can reach higher levels and uh, they are not squashed like the, fir the first mastering. So if you uh, go on a master for a, a streaming service uh, like uh, Spotify or YouTube uh, or Apple Music uh, or Amazon Music or anything, you're not gonna have, uh, you don't want to have the track mastered like you were mastering for a CD uh, some 10 years ago or something like that. You wanna let your track breathe more because they are gonna normalize everything to negative 15 uh, UFS anyway. So there is no point in squashing every peak and uh, getting the loudest possible track because uh, you're gonna be penalized. So this is just a, a quick tip and uh, everything you, you see here and you heard is made using uh, our Hornet plugins that you can find on www.hornetplugins.com. So if you want to try the normalizer or our limiter, the Magnus M key 2 or uh, the ALM 128, you can do it by going just to join, just going to our website and uh, downloading the demo or try out the plugins. And of course, if you have any suggestion, just drop us a note. Thank you very much for watching this video.